Hey guys, I'm back. I'm here to uh, check out a new series. Uh, what the shit? I forgot what it's called. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm here to check out a new series, Death in Paradise. Um, I know basically nothing about this show. I heard it was decent, so I'm going to check it out. I like good murder mystery. Uh, it's a comedy murder mystery. And then I will probably switch over to more serious murder mystery. Broadchurch. Um, so one of you recommended it. I had a quick look at um, summaries and I'm going to check that out because that looks pretty decent. I like the actors um, and it's a little bit more serious. But I figured it's always good to have a comedy in there somewhere because that's always fun. So I'm going to check this one out. Um, I, heard, I heard good things about it. It's got 11 seasons, you know, it's got to be running for a while, which means it's got to be decent. Um, obviously, it's not going to be going all the way up, 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 it'll, you know, have its ups and downs, but as any show does, but uh, it's been around for 11 seasons, and it doesn't have an end, so it's still sticking around, so hopefully, you know, it's going to be a long one, but let's have a look, see how it goes. Nice, man, I wish I was living there. Reminds me of more white man can jump. It's a classic movie, man. If you guys haven't watched it, watch it. With, um... I can't remember. Oh, man. He was your ghost. Ghost remains unclaimed. Sit down. Yes, sir. <laughs> Aunt's obedience. Faith don't come when called. You do know that, don't you? Nice. <laughs> It'd be nice to be the police officer you having to deal with is um you know, lost goats. Reminds me of like the hot fuzz when he's gone to a small town and all he had to deal with was um a lost swan or I think it was a swan. Oh, you can't put me in here. Why? You want to go in there? <laughs> <laughs> you should stop yachts. Billy. I should wear my um Hawaiian t-shirts. I'll be wearing it next time. Well she snuck it quite easily, hasn't she? I wonder if everyone's going to notice. So, Lonk, Books, Gunshot. How did he die in there then? I like that actor, he's cool. Uh, Alright, so, so basically. Gun goes off, alarm goes off, guy goes in the panic room. Maybe he got hit and then, no, but there would have been blood everywhere, so. Maybe. He shot himself in the panic room. The airline have lost my luggage. Would it be Thank would it be soundproof? Sir. I wouldn't know. If you could just point me in the direction of the lost luggage desk. Ah, thank you. Man, this is like a total fish out of water there. Charlie Hume was a British cop. They want a British cop to lead the case. 
What time did you open in the morning? Four six hundred hours, sir. And I'll call you at O six O one. Thank you very much, Daphne. O six O one. Come on, man. Not to be that stringent. He's been in another show before. I don't know where though. I gotta find out. Saint Marie was colonized by the French, who lost it to the British, who lost it to the Dutch. So, um, that's a lot of colonization there, man. That's insane. But yeah, he's, I recognize him from Johnny English. I just checked it out. I like Johnny English. It's hilarious. And also Paddington and um, I haven't watched Bridgerton, so I don't know. I didn't know he was in it, but maybe I should watch that. I've, I heard I heard good things, and I do like drama stuff, like kind of sad. This is Detective Inspector Richard Poole from the Met in London. Thank you. I'll take over from here. Yeah, right seriously, then. I would be sweating my ass off wearing a suit. D.R. Hume's death on my desk immediately. And if you could try <clears> to to sort out the login details from my PC. It's imperative I get on the network ASAP. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Mm. <laughs> this is not going to go well. <laughs> so my monitor won't turn on. That's because it's a fake monitor. No, it's not a fake monitor. D.R. Hume's been dead 48 hours. Is this all you've got? Where's the forensics report? Ballistics? DNA? We'll have them soon. Is it always this hot? No. Sometimes it's a lot hotter. <laughs> That's a good point. It's like a nice cool day for them. It's not even sweating, man. Look, I'll be honest with you. This whole Caribbean thing. I mean, I'm sure it's very nice, but... Um, well, it's not really my idea of... Uh, so, as soon as I've solved this case and I've got my luggage, I'm on the next plane home. Hang on, so he doesn't have a suitcase? He's going to be wearing the same old suit for, like, until he finds it? That's going to be insane, because... I mean, I would have sweat through that shit already. Oh, man, I can't take the heat. I mean, I used to be able to take the heat, man. He didn't live very well, did he? Or maybe he lived too well. No, I can't stand the heat. Um, I used to live in a tropical country, um, well, the Philippines, and then I moved to Peru, so they're both pretty hot. Philippines, humid hot, um, Peru being a desert, um, was dry heat. But once I turned 30, I just started developing like a heat rash. Killed me. Now I have to be like in a, I need like a net, like a... Instead of like a sweater, like to keep me hot, I need like a cooler. I think they're very just pleased to have there. you here, if I'm honest. Uh, the welcome's been very, uh, yeah, you know, and the accommodation's very. Ah! Mm! Splinter. Oh, oh, oh. splinter! Oh, Eight yeah. splinters. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. No, it, it does a, it does a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, thank you for sending me, sir. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, gotta go. Yeah. Bye. Why doesn't he take his jacket off? Sweat marks. That's why you don't take your jacket off. Because you'd be sweating your whole ass. What you need to do is get like um, a shirt that doesn't have anything. It just has the tie, the collar, um, no sleeves or anything. And then you can just put your jacket on and then you're good to go. The only problem is you'll sweat through your jacket. So it's a no, no, no win situation there. You've really dressed for the Caribbean, haven't you? Yeah. Haven't yeah, because that's a freaking woolen tie. Man. Nah, dude, you gotta wear some kind of silk suit, at least. Until I saw the police arrive. I see the safe was open. How many people know the combination to open it? Well, I do, of course, and my wife. Yeah? Well, give D.I. Hume the combination so he could open it. Yeah. One of them's lying. She's lying, isn't she? One of them must have opened the safe, but why? We've got a British policeman murdered in a rich man's panic room. An old book clutched in his hands. A 
a safe that's open and a vase that's smashed. As for suspects, there are only two people without an alibi. James, because he was down on his beach alone, and Sarah, because she was taking a shower. Not that any of this matters. It doesn't get us any closer to understanding the how. So, what are you saying? It's in Bastère. Fine, we'll get some sandwiches on the way. Bastère, Guadeloupe. Fine. Which is a completely different island. What? We don't yeah. have forensic labs and DNA analysis and ballistics here. We are just a small island, so... I bag the evidence from the murder, and it all gets flown to Guadeloupe. Then how are we supposed to solve this case? We'll get their reports. When? <sighs> Arrange for the vase and the book to be sent here by tomorrow morning. Can you manage that? Of course, sir. Man, she's going to wind up killing him. <laughs> right, so none of them have a solid alibi. I don't think. I didn't hear. Well, on the, when it happened, I didn't hear any screams or a slap. I'm assuming that someone would have like made a commotion. Oh look, they're having a fight. Or <laughs> and he was such a nice man. So full of life, no typical. Yes, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> I would kill him. We're pursuing a number of lines of inquiry. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Not your typical are you, Englishman. Are you staying here, sir? Uh, yes, apparently so. And will you be here long? I hope not. <clears throat> oh, do you need a cleaner? No, all laundry. I could always send any of your suits. No, it's fine, really. Don't worry. I'll just jump. Suits, it's just one suit, yes. They're not all clean. Oh, please. Do you think I have Wi Fi there? I doubt it. No, you lost my suitcase, so you can find my suitcase. That lizard? Oh, cool. Man, that moves fast. Hey, look, it's a different shirt. Or is it the same shirt? I swear it wasn't checkered. Figured out. Where can I get a point two two caliber gun? Soap. He smelled the soap on her. Him, I love him. I'd always worried that James would find out about Charlie and me. Well, that's a good way to pressure her into confessing. Shot dead. You think James killed him? Charlie was investigating. <clears throat> Why? He said he didn't dare tell me. My life would be in danger. It was you. You gave Charlie the combination to the safe, didn't you? Charlie said there was a book in the safe, and that if he could just get hold of it, he would be able to put my husband in prison. But we've seen the book. It's just an old guidebook. <laughs>